Naveen Elgamal, Egyptian model, socialite and interior designer. She was the first wife of Sheikh Ahmed Al Maktoum, the head of Emirates Airline and one of the richest men in the Middle East. He is the uncle of the ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed. They had an incredible love and luxurious life. However, betrayal, dashed hopes and a broken fate awaited her in the end. How did a perfect romance turn into a nightmare? Why didn't the Sheik want to recognize their common son? And how did this dramatic story end? Don't forget to put a like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Naveen was born into one of Egypt's wealthiest families and grew up in a palace surrounded by luxury. The girl earned a design degree from the prestigious Alexandria University. She never imagined that she would live such a tumultuous life that it will be discussed by newspapers and glossy magazines. Naveen was only interested in her profession. To improve her skills, she even moved to London. Here she enrolled at American Intercontinental University, successfully graduated and began to engage in her favorite and profitable business. And the girl also loved to travel. Her passion for tourism led her to Dubai. If only she knew how this trip would end. After sightseeing, the girl decided to have dinner in a Japanese restaurant. Here she met her future husband. The new acquaintance's name was Ahmed bin Seed Al Maktoum. He is an uncle to the ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed. At that time, Sheikh Ahmed was the richest man in the Middle East. The size of his assets slightly exceeded even the fortune of the King of Saudi Arabia. At the moment of meeting Naveen did not even suspect that she had met a billionaire. The man behaved very modestly. They chatted sweetly and exchanged phone numbers. Ahmed's true status became clear only on the second date. He brought his new acquaintance a stack of glossy magazines with his portraits on the covers. Naveen, a modest girl, was shocked, intrigued and in love. Apparently, the love was mutual. A dizzying romance began between the man and the woman. Luxury penthouses, private yachts, fashion shows and endless trips to VIP resorts changed with kaleidoscopic rapidity. By Naveen's own admission, she felt like the happiest woman on the planet. The Egyptian had no doubt that everything was going towards the wedding, but she preferred not to talk about marriage with Ahmed directly. Secretly from him, the girl bought the best wedding dress in the famous London department store Harrods and was looking forward to wearing it. But Naveen had no idea that the sheik would be so cunning that he would stage the wedding ceremony and then sneakily deceive the bride. But how can you have a fake wedding? We will reveal this intrigue very soon. Ahmed and Naveen's relationship was perfect only in the first year of their acquaintance. Then, as is often the case, the girl became suspicious of the duplicity of her fiancé. The couple spent the time between trips in London. It was convenient for both. After receiving a degree in design, Naveen opened an agency for the selection of luxury real estate. Ahmed headed the largest Arab airline Emirates, which was headquartered in the British capital. They visited London theaters and concert halls, actively participated in social life. The girl was madly in love with the man. If he asked me to throw myself into the river, I would have done it. So she described her then state in an interview with the British newspaper Standard. The first harbingers of a future nightmare appeared a year after they met. Naveen became friends with Ahmed's cousin named Nobu. One day they were having dinner at a restaurant. Having had too much to drink, Nobi told her friend that the sheik had a secret wife living in Lebanon. Moreover, she gave birth to a baby girl from him, which Ahmed does not officially recognize. Naveen didn't believe it at first, but later she got a lot of evidence of her fiancé's double life. A year later, she found traces of pink lipstick on the pillow in the apartment where she lived with Ahmed. A scandal erupted and she decided to leave the rich but unfaithful man. However, he swore that the lipstick was not left by his mistress, but by the housemaid. The sheikh showered Naveen with expensive gifts, but she was adamant in her decision to break off the relationship. Then the sheikh used one last argument. He declared that he had decided to marry the girl officially, and this argument worked on all 100%. The only condition the sheikh set was that the marriage should be conducted according to a simplified Muslim custom. Such a ceremony is called urfi in the Islamic world. It doesn't imply a lavish wedding with inviting a lot of guests. Only close people of the bride and groom come to urfi. 
In their presence, the newlyweds repeat the phrase, we are married three times, and then say the oath of fidelity. The marriage document is signed by witnesses, but it is usually not registered with the state authorities. Naveen and Ahmed underwent just such a ceremony in January 2007. However, on the latter's side, the document was signed not by relatives, but by some of the sheikh's assistants. As it turned out later, this was the main trick of the groom. In the event of a trial, his men could deny in every possible way that the ceremony had actually taken place. The Egyptian woman took Urfi's ceremony at face value and became happy again. In her mind, she became a legitimate wife with all the consequences. In particular, she no longer had to hide her relationship outside of marriage from her parents, who were strict Muslims. A few months later, the woman became pregnant. This is where the real nightmare began for Naveen. After learning about the pregnancy, Ahmed first congratulated her and even agreed to marry her in public. Then he simply disappeared. The worried woman flew to Dubai to find out what was going on. However, she was not allowed even on the doorstep of the palace. The sheikh's brothers called her a courtesan who had no right to meet the noble Ahmed. Moreover, they told her that he had been dating the Moroccan king's sister for a long time and that they would be officially married any day now. Naveen got hysterical but even this didn't melt the icy heart of the duplicitous sheikh. In fact, he cruelly threw her out of his life when the woman was carrying his child under her heart. Naveen had to give birth without the support of her fake spouse and relatives, many of whom turned their backs on her. She named her son Seed after Ahmed's father. But it was as if the sheikh had forgotten about his descendant. He never once came to even look at his son, let alone provide financial assistance. A few months later, a friend called her and told her to turn on an Arabic TV channel. What Niving saw on the screen shocked her. The man she had married less than two years earlier had married his cousin. Naveen felt the earth leaving under her feet. For a month, she tried unsuccessfully to call Ahmed. He finally answered her. Sheikh said that he did not need her or the child. This conversation ended in a nervous breakdown for the girl. She disconnected the phone and locked herself in her apartment. The police found her sitting on her bed crying and her friends feared she might do something terrible to herself. However, Naveen decided to be strong and obtain child support through the London court. Thanks to a DNA test, she managed to prove Ahmed's paternity. But Urfi's ceremony was not recognized as a marriage. In British law there is just no such term and marriage must be concluded only through the state authorities. Thanks to her talent in business, Naveen managed to build a normal life in London. Now she is very successfully engaged in the design of luxury real estate and social activities. The woman lives in a luxury house near Buckingham Palace. She looks happy and confident, but only those closest to her know how much pain she carries in her heart. For in return for pure and naive love, she received a despicable betrayal, which almost drove her to suicide. In 2012, Naveen founded a charity named after her son Sheikh Saeed bin Amid al Maktoum to support people in any part of the world who are victims of war or natural disasters and to provide them with medical care. In 2019, Sheikh Ahmed married for the third time and had a son Mohammed. His firstborn son Saeed is now 15 years old. He grew up to be a smart but sickly child. When he was two years old, Doctors discovered he had a rare, life-threatening immune disease. The disease was overcome, in which, by the way, Sheikh Ahmed helped a lot, taking upon himself the payment of medical bills. However, during the whole time he never once talked to his son, and no money can replace a father's love. What do you think of this dramatic love story? Write in the comments. Subscribe to our channel, don't forget to like and share. See you soon.